This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Ogonoy. This is episode 59 from Monster Grill in Cebu City. Jay Ogonoy with Keepsakes together with... Gaya Manteja, si Lucas Weber Bazaar. Adam Zanshay. And Serena of the Lilycat.com. Alright, okay. ArcCon 2019 post-event discussion. Yay! Oh yeah. Okay, so we'll be rounding up to the, the whole two days of ArcCon 2019. We hopefully round it off in at least one hour. Or 30 minutes or less. Let's try. Let's try, okay. can try. Okay, so... Um, okay, so yung mga taga Manila dito, yung mga taga Cagayante Oro dito na mga bay, mga ano, mga bay, mga day, mga chong. Uh, okay, so sige, kwento mo sa akin yung kwentong uh, departure mo sa airport. Okay. Um, it's first time that I almost left. I almost missed my flight to Cebu. And it the scariest experience was there was no other flights going to Cebu at that time. So if I miss that plane, I'm the next my next flight is going to be in the af- in the next evening. So I'm just so happy that yung ano yung yung ha- husband ng best friend ko was the driver. So paniyano na si Mercy. Mercy my, is the name of my car. So like need for speed talaga pare yung nangyare. So when I went there to get pag check in ako ng bagahe so that I can go. T- upstairs to the boarding gates. Yung ano, yung... The, the Air Asia dude was like... He was looking at my name, like, was checking my passport and, and stuff, and he was like, Ma'am, ganda na pangalan mo, ma'am. Like, I was like, Kuya, I don't have time for this dishes, to be honest. I need to go. Please check in my baggage now so that I can run. So, like, I was really stressed because I was like... Parang it was less than five minutes they're gonna close the gates and that was that was scary okay ito another um, sa akin din muntik ko na mamiss yung flight ko and spend 4,000 pesos more oh my god kasi diba nawala na yung 2,000 pesos because that's the ticket going to Cebu tapos gagasos pa ako ng 2,000 so that's 4,000 na nawala sa akin almost Ayala Makati 5.30pm just finished uh, our event So, ang sister, hila ko ng grab. Wala. Punta ako sa Enterprise Center. Katawid lang. Wala. Lakad papuntang doon si Tani Hotel, which is bit far. Wala. Lakad ako ng Magallanes, which is way, way far. Dala ko yung bagahe ko, dala ko yung pull-up banner ko, dala ko yung equipment ko. Wala. Tawid ako doon sa Magallanes, sa PNR, sa other Magallanes, Paseo de Magallanes. Ride the, ride the jeep. Nakachamba ng taxi, went to the airport, just in time for the 8pm flight. And uh, ako nga, nagpapanik ako that time. Kasi, again, if I miss that flight, maraming flights, pero gagastos na naman ako ng 2K. And not just 2K, kasi may rebooking fee pa yun. So, yeah, let's not do that again. Let's not do that again. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, so, speaking of uh, bad vibes, tapatan natin ng good vibes. Gary, what is the best thing that you've felt in these three days of Archon. Start na tayo ng Archon discussion. Archon Zero was really the bomb. Like, I was really waiting for, you know, my friends from Cagayan de Oro, I know, so from Manila, to, to come over. And even though, yeah, traffic was relentless. Grabe and traffic. Uh, she experienced traffic. She experienced traffic. I also experienced traffic no Friday. That was Friday, uh, Friday uh, Arcon Eve siya, ha? grabe. And sa SRP pa talaga. And, kasi nga, meron kasi SEA Games that will be happening. So they are actually closing the roads. Starting Saturday. So I had to I had to message Serena. Oh, Serena, heads up. Yan yung mangyari. So, let's talk about the good stuff. You know, the fact that, you know, my friends are there for Arcon. And they wanna, and I want and want to exp- have them experience our country for the very first time. That's something that I'm very proud of. Yeah, and they uh, and I, I, they got to meet a different kind of community and a little more closer. I think in compared to previous event, we got to we got to know more of the community. We got to more, more we got to learn more about the culture. 
Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm really proud of. And also the fact that Jay is now, I know, is, uh, will be invited for another event. So he's, uh, he has to come back to Cebu. And that's really, that's something really great. I'm really happy for my friends that, you know, they are, de they're developing, they're growing, and they're reaching out for people. And also for me then, I'm happy as well to be part of, to be a Cebu partner for, for Keep Six. And yeah, I'm very happy then now. Uh, I'm part of, partnered in with Kagan de Oro, so anything can happen next year. That's what I'm really looking forward to because of, you know, because of our friendship, because of our connection. Okay, medyo kumakain pa ako, no? Pero let's, uh, Chai, what's the best experience you've had in Arcon so far? What's the best experience that uh, you had with Arcon so far? My best experience, I get the chance to meet all my friends. It's been a while because I've been busy. And it's really awesome to show their amazing costumes. I always feel proud of all of them and also, and of course I'm a bear lover. I want to hug and squeeze them before they die. <laughs> and, uh, but it's really uh, pretty amazing because we have our own booth. We actually sell like spirit gum and contact cleanses, fake blood and makeup service and wig styling. Yeah, we're still beginners but uh, probably we might do it again if we keep on making improve with our booth. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's get back to Sere. Sere, mm. best experience that you have at Arcon? I think the best uh, on event, I think it's definitely the group cosplay competition. Why? Ito kasi yun. It's been a while since we've had, I've seen or witnessed a group cosplay competition. The last time I was able to see a group cosplay competition was in Cosplay Mania and that was years ago. Like 2014? 2014 pa yun. And then after that parang wala na kasi nag, ano na, like they're prioritizing on the pair cosplay competition which was Torch. So anyways, going back into the discussion, yeah, that I actually like the... I'm actually impressed with the cosplay community in Cebu. Like, they're very creative and resourceful. Like, whenever, if the event has an LED, they will really take advantage of it. And, and I also noticed that they also, like, get inspiration from the other, ano, from the other, like, you, you, you know, yeah, like class in you know, Team China. There, the Team China technique was was more was commonly was commonly used in the competition. But yeah, I I think there's really something in, in the Cebu cosplay community, and I'm sure it's, it will go a long way. So yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Post so yun nga, um, sa akin naman kasi, the best thing that happened to me at Arcon is actually happy ako sa experience buong overall sa Cebu eh, this time. Kasi number one, Mandawe. Tapos sa kuha kong area, hindi masyadong malayo. The venue, hindi siya masyadong malayo sa hotel at hindi rin siya masyadong malayo sa airport. Let's shout out your hotel there. Let's shout out your hotel. Um, Nag-stay ako sa Oyo Maanyag. Maanyag Pension House. So, Maanyag best is the best. Maanyag is the best uh, ano, budget na space so far. Really. Um, pero you can get, you can you can book with Oyo in it or Agoda. Pero yun nga, uh, overall, pwede ko lang lakarin yung ruta na yun eh. Pwede sa kyan, pwede lakarin. And besides, malapit lang ang kapilya. Malapit lang ang kapilya doon. So I'm happy as well. Uh, okay na ako doon. Contento na ako doon. Uh, hindi ko ma-describe yung experience ko sa Arcon talaga in, ano, in, in the short word eh. In short words. Kasi a lot of things have happened. I met the same stress ding parado. I met I not Sumi for the second time again in Cebu. I've met Volker again Volker. for the second time again. Sa inyo na si Night Maya. It's vegetal gang. Vegetal gang here. Night Maya forever. Sa inyo na si Night Maya. I have here myself with my vegetal soul. Yun. So, yeah, uh, a lot of things happened. Namit ko, ang dami kong ginawa, ang dami kong ginawa. And I was able to buy prints. Oh my! So, prints ni Dayan, ay, uh, ay, print ni Dayan, Nero, di ba? Nero, ano? Yeah, I got that. So, happy ako. 
Happy ako overall with the experience. And really, I met Sean Price. Sean Price, you met Sean Price. Yeah, and I, I know I saw Sean Price for the third time. He cosplayed Tenya Ida sa Boku no Hero Academia and also Dia sa Cosmania. But uh, you know, uh, helping also Sean Price, assisting Sean Price, you know, um, and also the fact that you know I was able to buy his prints as well, get to talk to him, and see Dio cosplay. But like, wow, my God, I was really overwhelmed. And I'm glad I was able to uh, to talk to him and you know be and you know, I was able to help him you know with with his prints, you know, invite people to come over. Yeah, because th this guy is very kind. This guy has a heart. Sean Price has a heart, and you know I really would love to help people who is kind enough also. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what else? Actually, you know, uh, it, speaking of 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 the event, so yeah, because of our media team, and you know, on the event, man, let's talk about on the event cosplay. Cosplay is really good. Um, there are a lot of uh, contestants this uh, for this year. We have uh, 25, 26, 27. 27 on the solo cosplay competition. We also have seven, seven for the group cosplay and. Wow, there really are Cebuano cosplayers. Uh, they are really good. You know, and daming pinakita ng gilas, and daming mga uh, format. And so you know, mag, so what can mga backflip? May mga backflip, merong front flip, may side flip, <laughs> may somersault, may somersault, flip na flip. Ayan, ganun. Pero seriously, um, and daming mga uh, we, uh, ways that they were able to perform hindi lang ang fighting meron nga nag idol tiba yeah it, it's uh, it's common for people to see an idol performance pero having that feels na parang nag concert lang sila nag concert sila they, have, they took the stage uh, on their, as their own and yun ang talagang magandang moment yun and they did not they defined the norm na okay may fighting fighting ganun so that's actually is the fun part for the Asa cosplay. Kimetsu no Yaiba, not only one but two skit performance and also Boku no Hero. Sadly, Boku no Hero, um, it did not uh, reach my expectation. But I guess, I know, I guess you know, the hype actually over, no, was, uh, overtook uh, the Kimetsu no Yaiba wave against uh, with, Kime, uh, with Boku no Hero. So I understand. Ayun. Sige, Chai. Uh, okay, so let's talk about yung mga... Uh, we were talking about cosplay. You did cosplay yourself. Pero, uh, ito, ibang klase ito si Chai. Uh, si Visual Effects Makeup. So, uh, what... Uh, can you tell us more about this Visual Effects Makeup that you're doing? Ito yung mga bagay na, na kami, kami tatlo hindi... Ano, eh, last time that I went to Cebu, Kaming tatlo na gwentuhan ito. So, visual effects makeup. Can you tell us more about it? Uh, actually, uh, it was our first time to to do our prosthetics uh, workshop in our con. And we were really excited because we can actually teach them how to do the basic. And uh, surprisingly, uh, everyone were very interested. Because it's really nice to learn because if you go abroad and you will know each basic in in horror films and even cinema and especially when you do photo shoots and even myself i always do my prosthetics when i cosplay as mystique yes it took me like probably two hours when i'm done it because uh, you have to know of your side of your face the one with no makeup with makeup because people have to know how do i really look like People always say I'm so mysterious because they don't know what is my real face. Because of course, uh, I don't want to spoil the, the fun in me. <laughs> mm. But uh, probably for tomorrow, we might have uh, a workshop for Miss Nadia to do the, the right prosthetics for to do uh, nine basics. Mm. I don't know. Um, is it a rising trend here in Cebu? Uh, is is VFX makeup 
racing in Cebu? Uh, hopefully, because we really want to achieve it more. Uh, as long as it's not always in Manila, we have to give a chance in Cebu. Because there's some out there, they really want to try their best to have it uh, with their own scale. You don't know if they want to try it or not, but at least uh, they experience it. Alright, so uh, with that said, we will be taking a break and yes, the next set of events will be coming in uh, Dece okay, November na ngayon, so December 20 2019 to the next year na ang pag-uusapan natin din sa break na to. Gary, Cebu, what are the events this coming December to all the way to 2020? Let's talk about December. December is Kurismasu Matsuri. It's the first ever Christmas ball here in Cebu and uh, it will be held at Family Park. So it's organized by Cebu Cosplayers Guild. Then by January, um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a Sinulog, uh, Sinulog cosplay thing. But you know what? We're looking forward for Star Wars Cebu to have another impressive float. Ano nga ba yung ano nila? Uh, yung bahala um, ng... Uh, ang machine, uh, machine basta machine float yun eh basta uh, ibang ibang iba naman doon sa nabalita na before uh, so um, you gotta watch one of our videos coming soon on YouTube and Facebook about that so yeah uh, hindi natin i-reveal sa podcast to watch watch it on YouTube may sinabi sila they said it they, ex they said it uh, yep. exclusively to us definitely and yun nga um, Star Wars Evil will be participating sinulog and ano pa, February is Otaku Fest 2020. That will be February 22 and 23. Um, so same date then, ano? Kasi that's the home of WCS Philippines Cebu Qualifiers yes. and the Pop Culture Hiroshima Philippines Qualifiers. There's a chance you're going to be in Otaku Fest, Otaku Fest next year? Yes. Uh, ako, I have to, as much as I'd like to, I have to beg up. Kasi may mga, may mga events pa tayong gusto puntahan eh. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll have a deal, okay? Let's, let's have a deal. If ever you cannot go due to reasons, um, I think it's easier for me to go to Cebu because like, you know, I can take a boat, either a boat ride or then I can stay with my relatives. So I, I would be glad to like help out and do the coverage and along with Gary and the others. And sige, thank you very much and we'll do live uh, talaga doon, kabaka simultaneous lives. Alright, sige. Okay, uh, we can do that and then kausapin ko si Miss Sonia, uh, Sonia, or who will be the man who will be managing the uh, Otaku Fest this 2020. So, uh, next event after Otaku Fest. Hold on, sandali. Why not have Keep Six still come over there by spirit when we can help with the tarpaulin, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what uh, that's the plan now. Since you are, you know, I'm now a partner, Cebu partner with Keepsakes, I can provide the coverage. So, yeah. Yun yung gamit natin, tiba? Yun yung function natin. Kung wala si Jay, we, can, we will be there to represent Jay as well. And also, uh, to represent Cebu Cost Private Buzz. Yan, ganun. Ayan. Ayan. So, uh, another event, Gary. Uh, ano ba mangyayari after February, Otaka Fest, March, April, May, June, July, August? March, April, May, June... March, April, and May, wala pa. But of course, June is the you know, the much awaited comeback yeah. ng Bonadori 2020. This year, walang Bonadori because um, our Jap the Japanese organizers are also busy with the Sea Games. Uh, so right, so this next year, everybody's gonna look forward for uh, Bonadori 2020. It will be held at SMC side uh, this June. Which is my, which is sasakay na naman ako ng my bus. Oh yeah. Ah, ang kas na lang, ang kas na lang. Pero sarap po yan ang feeling na sumakay ka ng my bus. Masakap ang feeling na sumakay ng my bus. I am pretty bad with directions but I am proud enough to know that I know my way around SMC sites. Ah, congratulations. Yeah, that is the most proudest achievement here in Cebu. Being familiar with SMC sites. I'm not even familiar with Mall of Asia actually. Mas mapamilyar ko pa yung SMC side. Ang uh, ano, SMC side, isang malaking bilog yan. Iikutin mo, nandun ka ano, ma mapamilyar ka na sa place. Yeah, like... Nakapagod eh, malaki. Yeah, it's very tiring to walk, but yeah. 
Well, good luck for that because you know this is like Jesus Christ sacrificed ourselves for our feet going there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you wanna know? I actually like walked around, like actually yesterday, because you know I was looking for center stage, and and because I wasn't, I'm too shy to ask the concert, so I walked around on every floor. Do you know there is a ride for people who will go, not always walking? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I did not know that, girl. <laughs> Even my I, mother was complaining about that one when we least, walked. At least, girl, but here's the thing. At least I lost a lot of calories that night. So, like, yeah. So, I was able to find my way to center stage. And at least I got to be familiar with SMC side and know my way around. Yeah, yeah. I have no problem next year, definitely. Here's the question. What if I tell you that Bonadori might be happening outside SMC side? That would be nice. That would be nice. I would, I would love to experience that. Honestly, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Well. Because as, I want you guys to experience Bonadori now. Alam mo yung ano, sasayaw at lahat ng tao. Ah. Oh, I want to experience that. Lahat yeah, ng tao sasayaw. Yun ang pinaka something. Yun, spoiler na yun. Pero... The way they dance is something different, which makes you feel, oh my God, this is good. This is really. That's why I'm asking, guys, if you have uh, prepare your kimono, prepare your kimono. Para talaga ang ano, pat patok na patok talaga sa ano, sa theme ng ng abonadori. So yun. Uh, that's it so far for for ano for next for this year and next year. And for more information, you can always visit my page at Facebook. Yes, sir, Cebu Cosmo Event Buzz. Or Cebu Cosmo Event Buzzer. Okay, back to Manila. December will be the cosplay week once again. Ozin Fest Winter Special. Yun na po ang tawag sa kanila. It's not... Cosplay Masuri. So, sabay po, kumbaga, after Ozin, Cosplay Masuri. Ozin is defining their, ano, redefining their events na eh. They have this Halloween special, they have this winter special, and they will have next year's school summer stay focus special. Now, uh, that's gonna be really my Halloween special sila recently. They did. Wow. Do you they remember did. si ano si nagmay mag nag Michael Jackson na na sketch siya yon? Ah. Oh. Yeah, that one. That was really good. <laughs> that was really good. Saya, so, yeah, I was really expecting Arkan and any Arkan Arkan cosplayers sa Arkan to do that. Ang ganda ng performance, simple lang pero ang laks ang dating. Ayun na, so yeah, nagkaroon ng Halloween special ang Ozin. Kasabay na Koslandia, kaya hindi ko napuntahan, my God. Okay, so following that, January, February, February, Otako Fest, tapos sa Manila yun. But then there's Otako Expo in the start of the year, first half. All the way to June. June is Toy Con season. June 20 at the end of June to no, June 28, 29, 30 yata. Or 27 to 29. Yeah, at least makakapunta ako ng Bonodoy if I ano, if I am allowed to. Bago ako makapag Toy Con. As much as speaking of Toy Con, as much as I wanted to attend Toy Con next year, I might have to sacrifice that to make way for Bonodori na lang. Then, if ever, and, but, if ever APCC is gonna be back next year, I would go also. But of course, I will be attending ArchCon. I'm not gonna sacrifice anything August onwards for that. But that, that is if magbabalik si APCC. If ever, wala pa si, yeah, this year, there were, APCC, walang APCC this year. And yeah, it was explained on their page. But anyways, We're if, if everything you know. comes back next year, na ano, I'm not gonna sacrifice anything. I'm gonna attend APCC, I'm gonna attend Arcon, I'm gonna attend Bonodori. I can do it. September sa APCC, if I may not mistake. And Cosmenia, I will not break my Cosplaymania tradition. Every year, pupunta talaga ako. And yeah. You guys are so lucky, and I'm the only one to stay here in Cebu. But I, and maybe you can ask your mom to let you attend at least one con in Manila. Going to Manila, mom. 
about time you should go. Yeah, we should go. No, because no, because your friends, oh, your friends in Manila have been wanted to, you know, to see me and uh, take pictures in cosplay. But you know, uh, I had to like the budget. Come on. Yeah. You know, we had you, you, to. You, okay, you you have you have a choice of there's. The the cons that I'm gonna recommend you is well cosplay mania definitely and then if ever APCC I think APCC is really your thing girl. no Asian no, Pop Comic Con I had to go there I've never been in there if ever like APCC is gonna be there next year if ever APCC is gonna be there next year you're gonna be there fam and you of don't course you know you need to uh, you be my navigation I don't know anything about this place so I'm gonna be a lost well, child I'm not gonna be well uh, she are actually, you know, they're pulling the, the microphone. If I know you can see that on the recording, but my God, if you can see they're talking right now, wow. This is, this is, this is, this is in an example of like two and girls getting along with each other. Yay! Yay! Okay, we're in back. All right. Okay. APCC Comic Con, uh, Asia Pop Comic Con, Manila 2019, and then Cosplay Mania 20. Uh, 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 did I say Asia Pop Comic Con, Manila 2019? 2020. Assuming that there's going Assuming to be there next is. year. If ever there's not next year, so you can go Cosplay Mania. We're all going to Cosplay Mania. Uh, I'm based in Manila, so matik na yan. Yeah, matik na yan. No, wala siyang problema. And I'm also going because I don't want to break my tra tradition and your GL Philippines is going to be there. Kaya, kaya, kaya pag sinabing, oi, pupunta, pupunta ka ng icon, ha? may problema tayo dyan. <laughs> I have no problems anymore, like traveling to Cebu Cons. Because my relatives are here, and it's easier for me. It's either I take a flight or take a boat ride from where I am to Cebu. Siguro ko ang plan ako niyan sa Bonodori, ubusin ko lahat ng leave credits ko kasi Bonodori is basically, wait, um, babang, ano, magbabaro naman ako this time. Tingnan natin kung, tingnan natin kung sana, kung sana. It's like two days. Two days na travel. Mamabagot ka, promise. 24 And hours? It's, tw it's, four it's 48 hours. Two days yan. Hindi siya overnight. O baka yung ilo-ilo yung iniisip ko. Which is... Ilo-ilo is overnight. Ilo-ilo is overnight, oo. Conquest 2020 will be, uh, will be on uh, after Toycon season na. Uh, kasi nung schedule na Toycon season, during June, June yun eh, that's a week, that's weeks before Toycon, so parang gusto kong pumunta, pero Toycon season. Ito na naman yung dilemma ko this year, next year, Toycon season, I am, I am required to be there. So will be helping out in Toycon next year? Always, always. Ah, okay. Always, always. No escape ka talaga. No escape. Uh, basically, yun nga, yun nga, dilemma ko na naman ulit. Okay, Toycon season. Oi, may event sa Cebu. Oh my goodness. But if ever like there's an if the event happens a week before Toycon, wala kang problema. Conquest happened assuming, assuming that the event will happen a week before Toycon. Kailangan ko din mag-relax. Conquest happened a week before Toycon. Hindi ako makakapag-relax noon. Yeah, good point. Good luck, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, ayan, so nagkagulo-gulo yung schedule natin. But yeah, we will compile that uh, schedule. Uh, siguro, it's time for me to make a 2020 calendar na posted it online na jegonin.xyz. Shout out to Jazzy, our uh, La Union partner. Ay, hindi ko pwede makalimutan yung ano, kita ko. Yan yung pinangako ko kay Jazzy na pupunta ako. Kita ko will happen at the first half of the year. And did you know that Jazzy, uh, Jazzy will be coming to Cebu next year. Yes. What? And yeah, hi Jazzy. Okay lang ba pag sabi ko? Anyways, yeah, we're looking forward for Jazzy to come over to Cebu. And we're hoping that it will fall under Bonadori. But of course, uh, wala pa, hindi pa to sure, Jazzy, correct me if I'm wrong. And I want to meet Jazzy the, uh, from La Union. So that, you know, I can, uh, we can grow more connections. Yan kasi um, isa... lahat, no? It will fall under the same time uh -oh. na lahat tayong apat magsasama. Uh -oh. Uh, ganito yan, kasi isang lipad lang from Clark to Cebu. Wow! Isang lipad lang? Isang lipad lang, pero may mahabang bus ride kasi she's from La Union and Clark Field Pampanga is a different place. Ah, okay. Uh -oh. That's, that can save a lot of money. Oo. Uh -oh. 
Yeah. So yun, uh, yun yung events natin for 20, uh, December 2019, 2020. Hindi ko pa din makalimutan, December ToyCon will happen December. Yes, because it's December ToyCon. It always happens uh, at SMEGA Trade uh, Hall, SMEGA uh, Building B. So yan, three events this December sa Manila. Look forward to that. I look forward especially to the cosplay week. Hindi ko pwede pala masin yan. looking forward to is hopefully, I know it's not event related, is that nga, um, to continue ang, uh, ang project ni Jay, you know, to build connection. And speaking of connection, we're hoping that Dumaguete will also join us with our cause, you know, to be a, a Dumaguete partner. Sana meron ng representative sa Dumaguete. Because uh, Dumaguete is really, if Business Cebu is warm, Dumaguete is warmer as well. Talagang, you would feel the simplicity of cosplay in Dumaguete. It's a super simple, yet it's very warm. And I want you to experience that. Para siyang, wow. Dum it, Dumaguete is saan mala, saan banda? Sa Visayas? Dumaguete, Bacolod, Ilo-Ilo. Dumaguete, Bacolod, Ilo-Ilo. Magkatabi lang sila. Hindi sila magkakatabi, magkakaputol-putol na isla sila pa. Eh. I'm sorry, Bacolod and Nor uh, Negros are magkasa, ano, then Ilo-Ilo hiwalay. Yun, yun yung ano yun, yun, yun. eh, Dumaguete, okay. di ba? Dumaguete. Saan yung Dumaguete doon sa tatlo? Negros, is, I think, no, is part of, like, uh, please do correct me for the geography. Hinga, magkatabi lang ang Dumaguete at saka Bacolod. Hmm. But you see, Bacolod to Iloilo, yun yung ano, both ride. Alright, okay. Sige, pagplanoyin natin yan kung ano mangyayari sa atin ng 2020. Oh, Lots oh, of things happening. Wala pa nga natatapos yung ano, yung December 2019 may plan na tayo. And that's what I really like about Keep Six. Ayan. Sige, dag uh, dagang salamat, uh, Gary. Ayun, so, uh, <clears throat> okay, let's go back to Archon. Everybody's back. So, okay, to summarize, day one, puro pila. Okay, let's talk about it. Um, uh, okay, uh, maraming pila because of nga, I, based on what I heard, uh, nagkaroon din ng issue sa, ano, sa system. So that's why it uh, talagang mabagal yung pag, ano, pag ang verification. Yeah, so we're hoping that, uh, yeah, but you know what, the day after, it it improve a lot. So uh, marami na nakapasok and but I, I know this is already uh, set in public records. Yung, uh, there were some concern that was raised. Uh, yung iba pumila, nang umabat ng 3 hours na sa kakahintay. And sayang din ang oras. And uh, sayang din yung oras na na... Ano, na Instead of waiting for three hours, you could have just bought. You could have. You could have bought some merch. You could have joined the meet and greet. You could have enjoyed a lot of things in Arcon. And I can hear that actually, that concern. That's why the day after it was already fixed. Yeah, marami na nakapasok. Hindi na wala na mahabang pila. Ayan. So yeah, uh, yun yung concern. So that's troubleshooting for everyone. And uh, aside from that, yung activities. Yun nga ang concern to sa venue is hindi kinain ng venue yung yung hype kasi mainit pa rin sa area or even in the mall pardon me ano kasi the venue para I think I mean, I think the mall is built to serve like parang SM mala SM Baguio na ventilation niya is parang mix of mix of uh, mainit na tapos yung parang malamig na hangin but that wasn't the case at J Center Mall uh, pero uh, the rest naman ng ano mga mga stores aircon naman yan eh Ayun, that's my gripe about uh, the venue kasi di ba naiinitan na yung mga tao even in the ano full blast na yung aircon yeah, yeah, yeah. pero ang ang humidity ng ano it, I think it, hub, I'm sorry. I think I think sana yun, sa lobby area yung mainit. Pero once you get inside to the no, to the main hall, I think di naman masyado mainit. It was it was actually in a, uh, okay. And then yung ano, hobby lobby sa taas. So that was cold. Kasi yung sa aircon. Yeah, then hopefully, um, I agree with you na medyo mainit siya and some of our cosplayers, you know, our makeup gets, you know, mamelt siya. So hopefully by the next year, uh, the mall would get some improvement for that. We, 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 we always hope for the mall to have improvement kasi mainit, ma, umiinit ang panahon, there's humidity. It's either you put, some, put more aircon or put more exhaust. Yun yun. So, kasi, kasi, it's, it's all about that eh. Sire, yes. sire, uh, how can you, ano, di ba, di ba, uh, ano bang uh, feed, ano, so far kasi we had feedback na sa Arcon eh. Yun lang dalawang pinaka-feedback natin eh. Yun lang dalawang pinaka-feedback natin. Yun lang dalawang pinaka-feedback natin. Yun lang dalawang pinaka-feedback natin. Yun lang dalawang pinaka-feedback natin.
yun lang uh, I don't see any other problem uh, unless yun nga uh, uh, there's another problem that arise the, the long lines on the entrance entrance yeah. going so on the on the on the topic of the entrance going to the going to the venue uh, here's the thing um, after kasi hype kasi yung Arcon like how many years na siya so it's ex- I think it's expected na more and more people will be going so I think they're, I think they're still a bit overwhelmed or something parang overwhelming yung crowd I guess it's really hype this year so I'm but I give props to the Arcon team that they finally found a way to to make the lines ano like no queuing of lines so I think I'm very thankful na that was fixed Kasi no, these things happen man talaga yeah, these, diba? these things happen those, these things are inevitable eh uh, it diba, shit is gonna happen yeah, let's be honest you know, even though na let's just say Arcon may have been a very oldest uh, uh, cosplay or hobby event rather uh, here in Cebu, we we tend to you know we we, we get we get our flaws and merong mga times na you know we learn from things we 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 learn we continue to learn we continue to find a way how we, to make it convenient for everyone. Inga lang um it's just that uh hindi ano hindi siya na okay ng day one but we were at least the organizers was able to recover on day two. Okay. So another gripe is yung program actually. Uh, yung first day na push down ng 3 hours. The queuing. Yeah. Aside from the queuing, this is a program, stage program na push down ng 3 hours. I left uh, ano na, I left the venue na around mga 8 or 9 and there's still activities at that time so uh, hindi ko na ano pero and then at the following day ano oras tayo nagtapos 9pm 9 9pm 9 9pm that's the fireworks so nakompleto na yung program and uh, on time nag start naman yung stage program ng 10am tama? tama mm, tama alright ayan so uh, yun na talaga is that's event management that's normal event management for everyone some, sometimes some expectations cannot be 100% uh, implement uh, kumbaga parang fulfilled and that's always happens in event management. So, kung magkakaroon talaga ng day zero, mag day zero na na ano, tech run. Kasi it, it, always, it also happens to me. That's a very happens. good solution, tiba. I mean, uh, we did present a problem and then we're, we're suggesting a solution. Have day zero as a dry run. Uh, as we have, I think they have that. They pero, that pero, ano. uh, and hopefully, maybe they can also do a simulation on how it will really work. Specifically, pag one, ano, imagine natin, 500. Yes. 50 people siguro na papasok and how does it work and then what does the time flow I know it's kind of ano, it's a crazy thought but it will really help out you know para tas ma- ma-identify nila na okay this can be possible and also we discuss about Jay we talk about yung how to do customer service recovery or customer service retention so yun ulit lang natin um, you know, what would be the perfect time for them to do customer service attention? What should have done as an expert of you know event organizing? Kasi lahat ng troubleshooting should be done ASAP or magtatagal yung problema. So ang kinagawa dun, the, the line is a pain point, the program has a pain point. Ayun, troubleshoot agad. Troubleshoot agad. Or, um, ayun, yes. Kasi in that regard naman, um, Kasi in that regard naman, uh, ganun talaga, and uh, yes, uh, as much as event organizers wish to have a day zero, a simulation, or dry run, hindi nangyayari yan, especially in my case, hindi nangyayari yan. <laughs> uh, so, if kung kayang ikram a week before yung uh, preparations, ikram na agad, para pag ano, pero kasi that, that's, uh, that's what happened to me. Ayan, yun na lang. Uh, uh, prior to the event, talagang kinram talaga namin one week before yung mga materials, so that's that's the basic story of a best manager. You you do it, you get screwed up. You do to it, you get screwed up. So uh, and then we get to screw up, but it will depend on how you know how you can actually do damage control, tiba, and how you were able to you know to put action and find a solution. Para sa hindi ganon kapuna puna yung nangyare. 
I'm not talking about Arcade alone. I'm talking about um, all events in general. All events in general. All yes. events in general. Ayan. So yun ano, and uh, they learn from it naman. I trust in my heart that they learn from it naman. Kasi kakausap natin sa kanila, they're so busy with all the stuff that ha- has happened. Um, I, I don't know if I have to mention this kasi may mga activities din na na-skip. Ano, unfortunately. Pero that will be for another discussion next year. So, uh, and that said, uh, we'll move on. Uh, we talk about the best parts. We talk about the parts for feedback ng Arcon and uh, what will happen to Arcon in the future? Will they be in the same venue? We don't know. Setting expectations, we cannot set, set expectations. Um, best parts, yun nga, nasabi natin ng lahat ng mga parts natin and I think we've done, uh, we've been through, uh, ano, so yeah, medyo na fatigue na tayo, na conversation fatigue na tayo. Pero yeah, all of these things na mention naman uh, first, of, first and foremost, the things that I'm thankful for sa Arcon is the people that I meet, especially from Manila, who have fl- flown away, all the way from Manila to Cebu. And kasama nito si Ma'am Ay Natsumi, Arara, uh, si Lara Castel. Lara Castel served. Lara Castel, oh my God, she's heaven. She's, she's fun to be with. Yun niya, she, she served tea well. <laughs> As in, lahat ng ano, parang, yun nga, di ba? And she's from Manila, I believe. Originally from Dumaguete. Originally from Dumaguete. Ayun. Uh, as in, Bacolod, eh, Bacolod. I'm sorry, Bacolod. Uh, and dami, ito da, talaga si Gara, and dami na-introduce sa mga tao nito eh. So, shout out to Dodi Batoktoy, you met Dodi. I now consider Dodi as a sound engineer. He's really good, di ba, on, ano, on... Not only in photography, but also in, uh, on producing music. So, shout out. Yes. Ayan. That was crazy. Uh, I, really, I, really, she, I really had fun talking to her. She's really good. Ayan. Tapos na-enjoy ko din yung... Uh, unang, ano eh, pagkabalik ko dito, di ba? After I check in sa hotel, first time. Eh, di, kaya ka daw, kain ako. And nakikita ko yung J-Center. Oy, may 7-Eleven dito. Tapos titignan mo yung mga tao doon. And yeah, I was also invited to the Sky Water Park. I was also invited to the Sky Water Park. Eh, parang nakita ko foam party. Okay. Alis. <laughs> Hoy, sabi ko sa'yo, diba? Mag-live ka. Mag-live ka. Then sabihin mo, ano, ano, welcome to Keepsake. And this is how, si Bono's birthday. Woo! Then you know, done, you go out. Hindi ko naman. Picturean ko na lang eh. Parang sabi ko, okay. sorry na. Ayun. So ayun, uh, yun nga. Ayun. So that's that's a lot of adventures that I had here in the Cebu, Cebu this time. And yung hindi na sayang yung dalawang buwan sweldo ko. Oh <laughs> my god, this is really worth it. Oh, this is no no but pero that's actually the the, the, the the ano, that's budget I set for this. And I'm happy to say na less yun sa expectations ko. Yung nagastos ko ngayon, less. So like day flight four, tapos uh, stay two, two lang, two, tapos the rest six, seven, eight. So mga eight. I'm expecting na nagasos ko eight k. Uh, but yeah, uh, moving forward. Uh, sabi ko nga we're in conversation fatigue now. So lahat ng mga ano natin sa Arcon, uh, the rest of the output will be posted online. I will be setting a day to finish the whole highlight video of Arcon. Day 1, day 2 yan. Will be posted on YouTube. And kasabay na rin yan yung mga pending backlogs ko sa Kostlandia. Lalo na, uh, as we record this, hindi pa nare-record. Hindi pa nare-record ang... Paging the attention of Jay Agonoy. Meron ka pa pending. Hindi ko pa nare-record yung Kostlandia podcast ko. So yeah. Uh, with that said, uh, maraming salamat. Taghang salamat sa Imon Tanan. Uh, a whole minute. Did you had your interview with MNL for si, MNL for si Boo? Wala na, oh bay. God, Nida, na. Dili na, dili na, bay. Hindi na, dili na, bay. Dili ko sa'yo makita, ba? Ah, sayang. Oo nga, sayang nga. Pero I was able to get in touch with their uh, Cebu MNL loves. Which is, ikaw din ang laman noon. Bakit? Huh? Ikaw din ang laman noon. Salamat. Pero you know what? That could be a possible podcast discussion. Next time, next time, next time. Sa ano? 
Ayan. Alright, so, gaya man tayo, plug mo na yung page mo. You can always check on my page or see uh, any events in Cebu, Cebu's Cosplay Event Buzz, or Gaya Man on Facebook, and also in Instagram, and also in Twitter. Alright, Chai Adamson, um, you have a physical store na? Physical store. <laughs> yes, we have Effects Makeup Hub. You can actually visit in Rain Tree Mall, it's here in Lemetis. And you can actually buy what you really need for cosplay and photo shoots. And you can check my FB page, Shayans Play Arts, Instagram, Adamson Shay or Adamson Creations. Alright, okay, uh, si Sere, Sere, what, uh, what do we have? Plug in mo. Anong plano ng Dalilikat? Anong plano ng Yuri GLPH? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, for Yuri GLPH, um, we are. I, I'm so sorry, but the there is this a little bit of excitement, but I cannot share it now. But here's one thing. Here's one thing. Um, share it, share it, share it. One, two, mag three years na ang Yuri GLPH. Yuri GLPH. Share it, share it, share it. Share it. May may boot kami sa cosplay mania. Period. Mag plano na kami mag boot sa cosplay mania. So like yala, you feel free to drop by Yuri GL Philippines. So. It's no longer a secret. It's no longer a closed door secret. So we're definitely gonna do Spoiler a boot again. Alert. Yeah, it's gonna be Yuri boot in cosplay mania confirmed. So and we're live because she already spoiled it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, for more updates on Yuri GLPH, just follow the page. And uh, the Lily Cat is going to have uh, ano. Anniversary ni Lily Cat is actually in December. So, I might consider something like a giveaway or what, but we'll see, we'll see. So, yan, uh, yes, visit the lilycat.com, the lilycat on Facebook, and my Twitter is Serena Moon Kitty. I'm excited yeah. for your giveaway. What is it? <laughs> I'm still thinking about it, girl. Don't don't what pressure me. Don't your pressure pops. me. Pops, <laughs> give your <laughs> Not my Funko Pops. Go, Don't touch man. my collection. Amazing. Yeah. And by the way, as you boost cosplay event, Buzz is now celebrating its 10th year Oy, starting oh, 2020. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll expect a lot of expi uh, excitement and uh, a crazy revelation is happening for Cebu Cosplay Event Buzz. And uh, hopefully, uh, Hopefully, we'll be able to Cebu in March, but I'm just joking. Let's just celebrate in Bonadori. Are you still young? Yes, I'm still young. I'm still young, but I'm still young. I'm only 18. Oh, oh! Why are you dying? It's true, I'm just 18. Oh, oh! 15 years ago. What's that? What's that? And after thought, this is actually my, uh, I've actually passed my 10th year anniversary, 10th year as an otaku. I started with Anime Overload Festival in 2009, and I've been to a lot. Sabi ko sa inyo to, I've been, 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 been to a lot, 10 years, starting from um, Deremoe, uh, may, uh, starting from meeting people of the, what was then the Zen Otaku Honbu until there mo and then uh, meeting people who are now uh, part of the now Anime Pilipinas so shoutouts to them maraming salamat sa inyo pinagtiisan nyo ako <laughs> especially si Al ng there mo eh. pinagtiisan ako niyan lalo for how many years and uh, yes we do talk on uh, some occasions although medyo naging bittersweet yung uh, naging um, bittersweet na naging uh, interaction between Deremoe's people, ano? Deremoe was a tabloid back then, eh. Ayan, so ito naman, mag-emote na naman ako, mga chong, mga chong. Oo, oh, huwag ka na kumiyak. You're 10 years ka na, eh. Lolo. 10 years na. Ayun, <laughs> and, then, and then the last two Lolo years, Jay. I spent on building connections, meeting new Gary, meeting new Serena in person, meeting Chay Adamson. You, in you, you, you introduce Gary, you introduce me to Chay, eh, talaga, eh. Ito talaga, ito, ito mati, mas matinding networker ito sa akin eh. Of course, I have the connections and my network has a lot of networks as well. And it's an honor. By the way, one more thing that I, I, we all forgot. You know, the best moment that we had in our con is the fact that 
we all shared the live feed. Yes, yo. Yung talaga um, nag-take over, di ba? Yung feed ni Gary Mantao, si Buscos Play When Buzz, nag-take over si Jay Agonoy. That's really crazy. Ang keep six ni Jay Agonoy, nag-take over si Serena and also si Gary Mantao. That was really fun. Di ba? That was really fun. We will do that again. We'll do that again in the future, especially pag ako pag. Sayang kasi di ba pag may spark, may pag may spark ako, hindi ako makalas. So sabi so talaga hindi nila ako to mga to. Sabi ko, guys, you take over, ah. Oh, that's that's the story behind this interaction. Na this is keepsakes. It's a beautiful collaboration, if you might think. Yes. Yeah. If we were able to meet Zach Dalosa, we were able to even meet. Uh, I was able to talk to our son, ko. Ah, oh, niya yeah. wala ipa ko sa pero son ko. Nice, diba? And you know, when Jay took over the live, it was really cool. Like, parang ano? Fast talker ako. Fast talker, talker siya, eh, mabilis. Ako talaga, I really take the time para sa ganon. All the details that you can actually get, you will get it totally. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Ano pa ba? There's a lot of things that, you know, that uh, every memory that we are, we are really going to cherish. And yeah, just like Jay said, uh, we all have our own stories. We all have our ups and downs. But the fact that we finally get to meet each other, you know, we are actually just crossing boats. Suddenly, our boat crashed at each other and then now we're going at the same direction. Diba? And that's really something that I'm very blessed and I'm very happy. And I want to thank Jay as well for, you know, uh, for reaching out to me and I was able to reach out to other people as well so we're looking for I'm really looking forward to what's gonna be happening by the next year hopefully more more products more, more content and more audiences we can build up so Ika, what do you think Jay? 2020 give six and 2020 will have La Union Baguio we already have partner in Baguio talaga our project oh, assistant civil yes. office yes. and do it and si La Union, si Jassy talaga more si La Union nice. yun eh. Well, last office of Do It For The Idols is, uh, hinihila ko siya pa, ano eh. Last time, Coslandia, yung Coslandia coverage natin, hinihila ko siya. He's, he went back to Manila because of Puota, Idols, and all that. Eh, sakto-sakto. Ayan, so, one of our project assistants. Uh, ang title ko kasi sa Keep 6 is Project Director. Keep 6 nice. is a project. Direct. It's a, uh, ano, uh, one whole project na this is there's a blog there's the videos and this is the podcast you're listening to it so everything revolves to it and uh, 2020 keep 6 2020 Baguio La Union Manila Cebu Cagayan de Oro and uh, hang, sigo, stay muna tayo doon until we find our uh, true north kumbaga yeah what do you think Serena? About what? Expansion. Expanding. Yeah, I think it's good because information, getting information from like upcoming events and stuff is faster, right? That that way and accurate. As you know, people can just say stuff, but hindi pala confirm. So it's better na we get reliable people, and then the information is going to be like smoother that way. Yeah, and in case that you know one is not able to make it, then. There is a correspondence coming from a representative for Keep Six. Ang ganda ng, ang ganda talaga ng concept, and where I'm hoping that yeah, everything will everything will fall into the right place. Yeah, sana meron na mida now. Sana yeah, meron na talaga mida now eh. Ah yes, I mean what I'm saying is that um, you know meron Davao, ganon. And hopefully, we're in USA, Canada. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? I mean, Keep Six is a growing brand. It's a potential, and that's uh, and I'm very proud that I'm part of it. Salamat, salamat, bye, salamat, bye, Gary. So you know, uh, moreover, yun talaga nga uh, purpose talaga na Keep Six is Keep Six, posting Keep Six, sharing Keep Six. It's more the memories. Memento mori, people. We will be passing away. But then again, we will leave our footprints in the sand. Na yun, kahit mawala yun, hindi mawawala sa memoria ng tao. People never forget. Happy memories, sad memories. People never forget. That wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. New episodes can be heard at anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Leave your voice messages to this podcast through the Anchor app available on Google Play and App Store. 
don't forget to visit me on social media for updates. Facebook.com slash KeepsakesByJ, Twitter at Jayagonoy, YouTube.com slash Jayagonoy, and my blog at www.jayagonoy.xyz. Shout out to Lee Rosie Bear for the music. I hope you enjoyed listening to this podcast. Until next time.